What's going on everybody? Uh, as you can see, we bought a whole lot of gems. So we're gonna go ahead and basically buy out the entire store of everything. Again, I apologize if I sound weird. Um, dental surgery, you guys know the deal. Uh, but we've got 13,000 gems that should allow us to buy all of this and the two mini sets. So let's go ahead and just start buying. We're not gonna jump to the pack screen just yet. We're gonna buy all of this and then we're gonna go open all of these packs. Hopefully I have enough. I think I did the math. Actually, I should have a little bit left over. So we have 29.50 left, and the only things left to buy are these two mini sets. Let's buy that. Let's buy Shazam. And we have about 2,000 gems left over. And I don't think there's anything left for me to buy. I'm not really interested in the card backs. We already got a bunch from these bundles. Yeah, so that's everything. Let's go ahead and start opening some stuff up. What do we have? We have a couple leader packs. Let's go ahead and open up these two mini set things right away. We'll get those out of the way since those are static. Gonna get us full play sets of all of this. Onomatopoeia, Brick. We'll get Green Arrow. I'm excited to mess around with him. I haven't played with him anywhere near enough quite yet. So that should be fun. And we got two copies of Speedy. Let's go ahead and open Shazam. Get the Shazam leader as well. There's Shazam. Pedro recently got buffed. And Freddie Freeman did as well. Alright, we have 94 packs and we have some leader packs. So let's start with the leader packs. I think these are the ones that are guaranteed. We got Punchline, we got a Premium, Bigger They Are, Devil's Knight, two packs, and Harley Quinn, yeah. So these are the ones that are guaranteed. I think the other one should be Batgirl. And I think one of them is not guaranteed. So this one should be the Batgirl one. It is the alternate art Batgirl. And we have three more leader packs, which I don't think these are guaranteed to be anybody in particular. Unless it's, these are the Founders Pack and it's going to be Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman. Yeah, okay. That's a cool loss of truth. So we're going to open these first before we go open our packs so that we don't get these guys in our packs. We got Flash. Two Naomi. That's a pretty strong card. And a premium Simon Baz, which is pretty cool. And what do we got here? That Batman? Yeah, that's the Batman one. And we pulled Cyborg in there too, which is pretty strong. Alright, we have 104 packs, so strap in guys, it's gonna be a while. Blue Devil's decent. I'm not gonna, you know, really slow down all too much. Um, because this is gonna take a while. Um, but if there's particularly good draws, we'll highlight those. Like pulling Harley Quinn. I don't think I pulled her all of closed beta, so that's pretty sweet. Ooh, we pulled the Joker! After an Arkham enemy is KO'd, deal 4 damage to a random enemy. That is very strong. I never pulled that in the beta either. And we got a leader pack! Pack number 2! Alright, so let's see what leader we're adding to our collection. It looks like it could be Joker, because we got Gotham Riots, we got Partners in Crime. It is Joker. Nice. That is fantastic. Scarecrow is nice for an Arkham Inmates deck. I do need to pull either Ivy or Lex, and getting a copy of Ventriloquist is great as well. I'm interested to see the number of leader packs I pull in these hundred and it was technically 94 or 90 I think it was about a hundred packs there's the newly buffed Atrocitus Renee Montoya and Amygdala Yara Floor Does that mean we just pulled another leader? Nope, we pulled Helmet of Fate. Create a Helmet of Fate in your deck, draw a card, and give a friendly recruit plus one plus one for each magical spell you played this game. 
That seems pretty solid. Kind of like Endless Value. And we got Joker's Venom, which is a card I need for my burn deck. Chasalon. Nothing too crazy there. Solomon Grundy. Dual Force is just a good card. Hawkgirl is, eh, not too bad. All right, we got an animated pack here. What does that mean? We pulled Doomsday. We pulled Super Size. That's a pretty good card. And we pulled the Green Lantern Battery. I guess that means we just got a good pack. And we did get a good pack. Indoctrinate. I like that card. I got Ivy's Flytrap. That's pretty great as well. Wayne Tech Engineer. Another Green Lantern Battery. Up, up, and away. Tenth Metal. That's a decent card. Mr. Terrific. Draws a no-cost card from your deck. Metamorpho. And Mordru. Better tomorrow. So what do you have one leader pack so far? And I think we're about what are we, 20 packs in? About 20 packs in. Crystal Ball, Madam Xanadu recently got buffed, and we got Gotham Riots, we got Deadshot. I think I saw people saying that the uh Leader pack percentages was supposed to be about 4%, so I think so far we're tracking towards that being accurate. Signal. We got a copy shoot randomly. Hawk girl is whatever. Second copy of Scarecrow. All right, looks like we got ourselves a good pack here. Trial of the Amazons, and there is our second leader pack. So we are about two leader packs in less than 30 total packs. What are we pulling here? Is this Aquaman? It is Aquaman. Premium 10th Metal is pretty sweet as well. And we're going to get refunded two packs. Sustained effort. Another rare pack. Another Atrocitus. And we pulled Shazam. If Shazam would be KO'd, he turns into Billy Baston instead. And then he could turn back into Shazam. That seems pretty darn good. You need to have follow-up damage or the card doesn't die. And another rare pack back-to-back. All right, what do we got now? Chasalon and Catwoman this time. After Catwoman attacks a leader, draw a random gold card from your opponent's deck. It's a Hidden Hunter Arkham Inmate. That seems pretty solid as well. I feel like my Arkham Inmate deck is already going to be better than it was in closed beta. Mom and Pa Kent. We pulled Lois Lane. Cersei. Got our second copy of Ivy's Flytrap, which is huge. Power Girl. That's actually a really strong card. Whenever a friendly character loses shield on your turn, give them shield. I feel like I'm going to make some sort of like shield might deck. Got another Atrocitus. Can't break down these extra copies quite yet. They said crafting is very high on their to-do list. It's just not ready yet. Bat cycle. Got 
copy of Laugh It Up. Oop, all right, here we go. Rare pack, rare pack, rare pack. Leader pack number three. And we are not even 30 packs in. So we may be a little bit above rate, but that means we are more than every 10 packs right now. We pulled premium friends in high places. And we got Black Adam, who's not that great, but we need to collect all the leaders we can. Supersonic Sucker Punch recently got buffed. By recently, I mean today. John Constantine. Summon a gold recruit from your opponent's deck and give them speed. That's pretty good if you can guarantee they have a gold recruit in their deck. Second copy of Metallo. Rare pack, rare pack, rare pack! Come on, all right, let's get the good luck. Clark Kent. At the start of your turn, he transforms into Superman. So you really just have to hope your opponent doesn't have a turn one answer. And ideally, you're going first. I can see that card eventually being good, but probably not the kind of card that I would play too often. Although, if you could follow it up with, like, if you go second, if you go on your turn two, and you do Clark Kent plus that plus three plus three card, it could be pretty solid. Or like Clark Kent plus shield. Captain Cold is very good. Jailbreak. That's one of my favorite cards in the game. Black Lightning. Timothy Hunter is a pretty solid card. Triple rare pack. All right, what do we got here? What do we got here? Give me something good. The Riddler. At the start of your opponent's turn, they seek a card and put it into your hand. It's also just a good stat line for a bronze. I think the next closest one is like the... There's one 3-4 in Tyranny, and then there's a 3-4 in Might as well, or something like that. But also, the Riddler gives you value. Back-to-back -back rare packs. This looks like a leader pack. And it is. Was that leader pack number four? Or is that five? I'm not sure. Who did we pull this time? Oh, base Batgirl. I guess... Buying the alternate arts does not... Um, pass you from getting the base copy, which makes sense, but it's good to know. Lasso of Truth, Bat Cow. Raza Ghoul. After another friendly recruit is KO'd, return them to your hand if Raza Ghoul is hidden. I can see that being a way of, like, if you know you're going to have to make trades, play him, make some trades, get some valuable recruits back. I think Cheetah got nerfed recently. Kilowog, I'm glad to have. That's definitely a core piece of building around lanterns. Down but not out. Lead from the front. Tweed Brothers. It's another great card for Arkham Inmates. Iris West. It's good for the Flash. Double Rare. Renee Montoya and Crystal Ball. 47 packs left, everybody. Bruce Wayne. Not really into that card that much. Hellblaze and Brainiac. After we're done with all the packs as well, we'll take a look and see how much of the overall collection we've got. I don't know if that tracks duplicates or just total cards collected, but it'll give you a pretty good idea of how much basically buying out the shop can do for you. 
Parasite is a decent epic. Rare, rare, rare. Second copy of Supergirl is great as well. Killer Frost is good. Lois Lane is whatever. Black Lightning and second copy of the Tweeds. Appetite for Conquest. All right, we got a rare pack. What do we got? This looks like the setup of a leader pack. That's exactly what it is. All right, let me get Ivy or Lex. Might be base copy of Batman. No, oh, Cyborg, okay. I guess you start with Batman. Cyborg, I don't think I ever pulled in the beta or closed beta, so that's good to have. Trickster. Got another rare pack. Is it a legendary or another leader pack? No, no legendary. Just double epic. John Stork, Mass Arrest, and Bat Signal. All right, not mad at that at all. Alfred. Swamp Thing. Gets buffed for each enemy recruit. Really good against aggro, and we've got another rare pack. Massacre. KO all recruits. A solid board wipe. Solstice. That card got buffed this patch as well. Giganta. Bat Cow. Bruce Wayne. There's a copy of Bane. I know his health is too low for him to be like really good, but I really want to make Bane work one day. As we got a rare pack here. Looks like Double Epic. Wonder Woman. And The Flash. That's a really good pack. Really, really good pack, actually. Master Strategist. Another Yara Floor. We got two rares and an epic. Power Girl. It's another strong card. Another John Constantine, you got a copy of Crypto, and a rare pack here. Let's see what we got. It's looking like a leader pack. Indeed it is. That's what we got. Looks like a... Okay, okay, is it going to be Lex? It is Lex, nice. Got a skate tunnel. Give all Arkham inmates in your deck hidden. Draw a bronze Arkham inmate from the bottom half of your deck. That seems very strong. Never had that in the, the closed beta either. I feel like I'm way more equipped to build a good Arkham inmates deck now. Second copy of Solstice. 23 packs to go. I'll also be interested to see how many leaders we have after this. Like if we can say we basically got all the leaders. Rare pack. Could be another leader pack. It is another leader pack. Alrighty, what do we got? Green. What could this be? Green Lantern? It is Green Lantern. Very nice. What am I missing? Second copy of The Flash. The Culling is a good card as well. Another rare pack. I feel like our luck has been incredible. Heart of Darkness. Transform a random damage recruit into Eclipso with three charges. I've never seen Eclipso. 
Book of Destiny. We have seen that before. Second Book of Destiny. Blue Devil. I think we're probably getting a lot of duplicates at this point. Star Research Lab, I know is new. Man Bat is a good aggro card. Anagrian Mace, Lady Shiva. I'm hoping for two more rare packs in these final 14. That's my hopes. Maybe one of them will be a leader pack, but just two rare packs in general. Hammer throw, second copy of Man Bat. Reverse Flash. Can attack instantly, attack twice, but can only attack leaders. That's like kill the leader dot card if you have an open avenue to do so. Embrace Madness. I think that's my second kilowog, which is great. Down but not out. Eight packs to go. I don't even know if I'm going to get one more rare pack. More Drew. Appetite for Conquest. Another down but not out. Second copy of Metamorpho. Third copy of Metamorpho, if not more. Another copy of Ivy's Flytrap. We're going to have a lot of uh, crafting fodder once the system launches. Cersei. Two more packs to go. Can we get one more rare pack? Clayface. And finally, final pack. Let's get some good pack juju. Nope. Mr. Mixed Pickles Mischief. All right, let's take a look at how we are looking. Go away, cyborg. Actually, I think it's in the store screen where you can see how much you have of the total collection. We're missing 50 total cards, which is not bad. I have basically the whole collection. And then as far as leaders go, I think there's 17 total. We have eight Oh, we have some duplicate copies, though. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Are we missing one? Yeah, we're just missing Doomsday. So yeah, I have almost every leader in the game from that. Um, yeah, so that's not bad at all. I think that's a very fair, like, basically... Spent less than a hundred bucks and you get basically almost everything in the game besides I guess filling out some legendaries over time I think that's pretty fair overall uh, But yeah, that's gonna be it for now guys. Let me know what you guys pull down uh, from your packs in the comment section and we'll see you guys next time. Peace